Hey everyone, I have the newest timeline of what exactly happened during the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. There is some bombshell news in here that makes the cops look not so good, so we have to talk about this. So, here's the official timeline. At 6.02 p.m., you see Trump take the stage to God bless the USA. He's waving and everybody's cheering, having a good time here with people to his left, right, and all around him, obviously. Now, at 6.10 p.m., this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. After rally goers notice a man climbing on top of the roof of a nearby building, a local law enforcement officer climbs to the roof, according to two law enforcement officials. So there was actually a cop up there when all this was going down. Now, a man identified by the FBI as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks points his rifle at the officer who retreats down the ladder, the official says. So he pointed the gun at the officer and the cop, instead of engaging, retreated. And then that that is not something we had heard. We just haven't heard it yet. That is crazy. Now, Crooks then quickly fires, according to the officials who spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity, to discuss the ongoing investigation. So right after the cop retreats, he therefore has time to start to shoot at Donald Trump, and we all know he barely misses him. As the first pops ring out, Trump says, oh, he raises his hands to his right ear and then looks at it quickly before crouching on the ground behind his lectern. Secret Service agents rush to the stage and pile atop the former president to shield him. And you guys see all these iconic photos hanging out right now. They're all over social media. This was definitely one of those more wild days. And you can even see in the corner of the bystanders, they really don't know exactly what's going on because, again, he was shooting from 150 yards away, and that's not always going to leave the loudest sound, you know, especially if they're that far away. Now, Corey Comparator, I can't pronounce his name uh, properly, Corey Comparator, hopefully that's the right way to say it, a 50-year-old former fire chief for uh, attending the rally is shot and killed. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro said Sunday that Comprator, I can't pronounce his name, I apologize, used his body as a shield to protect his wife and daughter. That is a hell of a way to go out, but it's a shame that he had to go out at all based on how the cop reacted to this. Afterwards, we have the Secret Service counter snipers fire back and shoot crooks. About one minute after the shots, video shows Trump getting to his feet and reaching with his right hand towards his face, which was smeared with blood. As Trump stands up, he pumps the crowd with his right fist. We all have seen that right now. We got a lot of good photos out of this, and these photos are going to be iconic for the rest of our lives and going out for generations to come. This is one of those historic moments. Marco Rubio tweeting, God protected President Trump. Definitely one of those days that's going to live on for a very, very long time. Next, we hear from the Secret Service saying that the former president is safe. This is the current timeline of events. I want to know what you guys are thinking about all this. There definitely is a lot being said, a lot of speculation, a lot of stupid speculation, as you guys might imagine. But I want to hear what you guys think. Thanks. If you uh, want to really see something to said, take a look at what happened. Over Watch out. 